Hey everyone, uh, what we're going to do today is something a little different. Um, we're going to explore an alternative painting method. And what we're going to use is this Copic. This is a Copic marker and I'm going to use it in this, which is, a, they call it a trigger, um, but it basically acts like a, a little airbrush and I have it hooked up to um, a simple Harbor Freight uh, airbrush compressor. I have the air pressure set at like 48 pounds. That seems to work really well. And uh, one of the reasons I wanted to show this is, is because uh, a lot of people have problems, you know, uh, including myself, that is, doing the multiple colors with powder paint. So, this is just an easier way of doing things, but it's something I, I don't see a lot of people uh, using. Now, I'm going to tell you right from the get-go here that uh, you're not going to see links uh, to the Copic products because you're going to have to look around uh, and see where they sell them yet. I know where I bought mine, they don't carry them no more. Uh, try like Michael's... Uh, Blick is where I got my in from, but an online search should yield where you can get it if you're interested in this. Um, this is a little help in hands device here. This is really nice to have. Uh, and what I'm doing is I just put a little paper plate in there and you'll see the reason for that. So the pattern we're going to do, we're going to do, this is a half ounce uh, do it casting jig or grass jig depending on where you get it from it's a really good swim jig and we're going to do it in a pattern i like to call uh, albino excuse me albino shad ob which is orange belly so we're going to start here this is a copic orange it's called chrome orange that's the name of the color and all you do is simply open it up and you want the big chisel end, not the fine point end, because there's uh, two sides to these things. The fine point isn't the one you want, you want the chisel point. And you put it in that the point is facing up. And all you do is simply slide it in and boom, it's in place. Now, I'm going to try to do this that I'm not in your way, but we're going to put the orange belly on. And what I do is I spray uh, the plate to because so, uh, some some of the markers will spray a little high, some of them will be dead on, some of them will be a little low. So let's get started here, and we're just putting it a light orange belly on. I hope you could see that done, and then I simply pop the marker out put the cap back on and now we're going to go with a color called cool gray and I'll just pop off the thing off the lid put that in like so and now we're going to make some shoulders just a little bit of gray see where our spray pattern goes and again we don't want it real dark we just want a little bit of gray We don't have to plug the weed guard hole because there's not enough ink uh, going on here to make a difference. It's not going to allow your weed guard to fit. And again, we're going really light. Um, you probably can't even see it. But we got light gray shoulders. Now, we're going to go with our final color. But we're going to do something uh, just a little bit different with the top color once I find what I'm looking for here, which is this. This is scale netting. And it's what we're going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around here 
And I'm, the reason I'm doing it by hand, which is why I have the uh, nitrile glove on, is because if you're doing it, and I, I have alligator clips, but it takes so long to get them tight enough that it's easier just if I hold it with my hand. And what we're going to do is we're going to go with smoky blue. That's the name of this color. And we are going to pop it in. Now, airbrushes, great thing to use for this. But what's nice about this is there's no cleanup. You can do multiple colors real quick. Now, this one sprays a little high, this color, for some reason. I guess it's the angle of the mark or whatever. But just some light coats. Got to keep that netting tight. Be careful. You, like, you got to be careful you don't get it too heavy or it'll get spotty. But after you play with this trigger for a little bit, you kind of get used to it. It's pretty easy to work with. And there is our smoky blue. Now I'll show you what we have after I put my marker here away. We're going to take this scale netting off. And I don't know if you could see... Oh, I'm sorry, I got the camera bumped. I don't know if you could see the scale pattern. But that is our albino shad uh, OB. And when you add eyes and an epoxy coat, this is what we this is what we get. Real subtle pattern, but it's nice. It's easy to get acquainted with that Copic airbrush system. Uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.